Hey, look what came today. The Bloom Sky arrived. UPS. See what's in here. And let's see. We got this thing, which doesn't say anything about our packing list. It just says, Congratulations. Your indoor station's installed. Wait, that's my show me show us how to do that, right? We got an indoor station explanation guide. We got an indoor weather station. We got hmm, kind of hard to do with one hand holding a camera. Well, we got this, which is a button, a Bloom Sky button, which we'll wear with pride, I suppose. We've got the weather. Station itself. Can it be handled? Uh, let's see, there's nothing written there. Bloom Sky, welcome to the weather. Lucian Weather Station. And you can buy the get the app at the App Store or Google Play. And then this, which is in theory, a solar panel to run it. What we did was, some time ago, we uh, signed up at their uh, their website. Actually, they were doing a Kickstarter, and um, it was like a year and a half ago. And I pledged my money, and I didn't even realize that they took my money, and uh, it showed up. So here it is. These boxes come in the same boxes come in the same configuration. You get this like, outside paper band. I think when you buy a Nest, it comes the same way. These guys probably want to get bought by Google, or maybe they're already bought by Google. I mean, this is the way Google, you know, Nest comes, and Nest is bought by Google. Actually, the Intel um, Edison comes the same way. Let's see what we got here. All right, so this is some cardboard. Packing. Oh, here's something. This is the spike. So you can plant, you can plant your Bloom Sky in the ground or attack on coming warriors. Wow, that's a pretty that's a pretty vicious looking thing. And then we've got some packing and some more spacers. And what do we got here? We've got a white box. This must be well, I hope it's not a power cord because we don't have we're not gonna have power where we're plugging this in. We're gonna be plugging this thing in on the roof. Let's see, it is a power cord. Oh, but it's got a handy international. Seeing as how we're in the US, it comes with the US plug, but it's a little international plug again. See, it's got that guy, goes into this guy, like so. And it's the Hero Electric International so and so. Smart power, 100 to 100. To 240 volts in and you get 12 volts 2 amps out and it goes to that little dinger right there okay so this is the piece the resistance here it is wrapped in anti-static whatever which is also kind of funny because it's going to be outside on the roof and here it is so it's a camera all right, you got a camera and there's weather sensing equipment in there. It's going to sense temperature and humidity. Humidity. T -t 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 -t. It says your privacy is important to us. Camera, please, please note camera direction when the bloom sky is on. Meaning, I guess, don't point it to your neighbor's bedroom window or something like that. And you're supposed to put DC in there. That's nice weatherproof. Thing. You put DC in there if you got it, and then you have these different switches. Okay, and there's the business end. So this is going to take pictures of the sky, right? And there's some destructions, Bloom Sky destructions, which is pretty simple. Connect it, turn it on. Yeah, who needs that? We don't pay attention to this. If it can't be figured out without reading the instructions that ain't worth having. All right, then we've got, this is the indoor module. Well, let's just see what the indoor module looks like. Let's slide its happy paper band off. And, and we've got here, oops, also another, another power supply. 
I presume it's identical to the other one. It looks like the same. Yes, internationalized. It's got the American piece. And then it's got, oh, it's a smaller one. This one is the uh, same 100 to 240 volts in, 50 or 60 hertz. You get 5 volts at 1 amp out. So, we have that. And so we saw inside the big box, there was a, let's put this on, just so that we don't have to think about it later. There, that's on. I wonder how the solar panel works. Let's see. This is nice. The instructions are one page. Plug it in, and then uh, it's got to be within, it's, this is all internet stuff, so it's got to be within five feet of your internet router, or during setup. It's got to be I certainly hope it doesn't have to permanently be within five feet of the router. Of course, it's going to be um, sending my indoor temperature information to the Bloom Sky server, I'm sure. So um, hopefully it doesn't have, uh, like my television, which has a, a microphone and a camera in it, is broadcasting all of my information to South Korea. We'll see how much uh, privacy I lose by installing the Bloom Sky in internal temperature gauge. All right, and then finally, all this wonderful recyclable stuff. Put in here. We've got the Bloom Sky solar panel, which as well comes in its own paper band. Let's uh, move this stuff away. Paper band. Looks like a serious device. This is what I was hoping for. So this panel looks very solar, and it's got a mounting bracket. Oh, let me just open it up. Okay. Look inside. Okay, this has got a mounting bracket, which is kind of looks reasonably inconvenient because it needs to be mounted on a flat surface. I don't think we're going to be using that. Anything. And it does have a uh, power cord, which looks like it's got the same end on it as the internal one. Yeah, looks about the same. It's got these handy things. I guess I can hang it on something. And it's got some spiky things and some screws. I'm not sure what to do with the spiky things. Uh, the instructions are on the outside here of the box, which let's see if any of us can read this. Instructions are here. Put large stake into ground, open solar panel. Oh, so they're expecting that you're going to put this on the ground. What they don't realize is that tomorrow morning we're all going up on the roof and we're putting this up on the roof. So it's unboxed. Tomorrow we do the installation. Okay, it's morning. So now the idea is to associate these guys with the internet. Somehow, I guess so that Google can see our every move and uh, track our underwear size, our waist growth, our cholesterol, etc. I realize that I'm playing right into their hands. Now I've got a camera. Okay, this camera's going to be on my roof. So if Google wants to know what the hell's on my roof, it's good for them. They can watch the squirrels and the rats. In any case, you have to have uh, these devices within five feet of the router when you set them up. So I can't put it where it's got to go and then set it up. It's got to be within five feet of the router. Um, last night I did try to set up the indoor one. You got to set up the outdoor one first. Uh, took an hour to figure that out. Whereas if I had just read the handy manual, I would have known right away. Yep, I got a PhD in dumb. I'm sure the software they, they've uh, written to enable this thing is idiot-proof, um, which is probably why it prevented me from setting it up, uh, because uh, I can't think of a bigger idiot than myself. In any case, I, it's a single button. You push a button, you download an app to your phone, and it's supposed to associate to your network and start showing pictures and things. Uh, two hours later, it's finally doing that. Um, what I learned is that the app on the iPhone, at least the iPhone 5, 
keeps telling you that nothing is happening and it's all bad and the device is not set up. Um, eventually, out of sheer frustration, what I did was I rebooted my phone and I started the app again. And then I realized all along it was set up. When the little green light flashes, it sets up. Um, they got a little more work to do on the software with this thing. I'm sure this is uh, version one. Uh, you know, they sent it to me off of their Kickstarter. I still think it's a great idea. Let's go on the roof and start it and see what happens. There's some wire ties, which I will just temporarily get it up with. Let's see if we can uh, do this without killing ourselves. I never tried to video on the roof before. I do go on the roof often. And, uh, so there is the old weather station. There's my satellite TV. There's my ham radio antenna. I'm thinking the good look. Oh, and that uh, crowd noise in the background is not cheering for me. That's a uh, major California highway. And down there, I don't know if you can see it down there, there's people walking on the trail. Let's see. Where will we locate the balloon sky? He thinks over there. Ideally, I'd like to uh, mount it to this chimney. Okay, this seemed like the simplest thing to do. I just popped it into the uh, top of the pipe here that's holding up the Davis weather station. Um, it's going to shadow my uh, solar detector some points during the day, which will make it inaccurate. But I'll think of something else to do. There's the solar panel just leaned on the peak of the roof. Now that's not, this is, can't possibly be a permanent installation. As an engineer, we can think of all the reasons why that will fail. The first big wind is going to blow that away. Of course, we're in the middle of a drought here on the left coast. Uh, so it may be a while before we get a big wind, and that will make it even worse, because I'll forget that this is up here until it comes crashing down. So we're going to have to do a better install than that, but for the moment, we're just going to leave this and see if it works. Okay, we're just going to wire tie this thing down here. And I'm just looking at it. Hoping that it's going to get a nice picture. One, uh, you know, downside engineering wise is its temperature sensor is fairly close to this black plastic here. So it may read an artificially high temperature. See the, the Davis temperature sensor is down here. Um, but I really wanted it for the camera. Let's see what, uh, so camera is looking basically at that view there, that mountain on the highway. Yeah, we could pan around. I could I could take a picture over the roof that away. That might be more scenic. Uh, at least it get some things in the foreground. Or we could head in that direction. Yeah, I think I'll leave it where it is. Oh.